I'm originally from Haiti, raised in the countryside up until I was 10. Then I migrated here to the U.S. Then I ended up um, having my first child at 18. So I basically had to drop out of school. I had to live on the street for a short period of time. Found a couple of services, such as Bridge Over Troubled Water. They helped me get ready for my GED. I had it in my mind. Without knowledge, there would be nothing. A couple of people said, you probably would make a great nurse. You know, you have such a great smile. And I thought that was like, OK, OK, nurse. Laboré just came up, signed up. I went through the whole ordeal, the first Nursing 101. It didn't go so hot. And I remember the thought of quitting because it was just difficult working and taking care of a child as a single mom around that time. Nonetheless, I did it. I decided to continue. And it was a year after I finished nursing school and passed the board, I joined the military. I am very honored to be in the military. I love the uniform and it is a sacrifice. Very few people will take on um, this type of challenge to leave your comfort zone when you are called upon. When we think about the origin of nursing, especially Florence Nightingale, and really have an understanding to how nursing started in the first place, it really started with soldiers. It really started with how can we decrease the infection rate that was occurring back around that time, how Florence Nightingale made a difference in that sense by just the very basic of environmental changes, lighting, making sure they are being fed, making sure they are clean, making sure their basic needs are being met. Those were the things that made the difference. So for that reason, I knew the nursing model was for me. I would die a thousand deaths and still come back and become a nurse and then a doctor. <laughs> I had never been so proud to be a nurse until having been at the Javits Center in the beautiful state of New York. This was an unseen force, a virus, and no one seemed to know what was going to happen. I saw nurses working 12, 13, 14 days straight. Very difficult to have a cup of coffee or drink your water. We had to make it work. That's where nursing really, really flourished. The work that we were called to deliver, we delivered it to the fullest extent. And I do know people who will have the scar for years to come. But isn't this why we're here? Once upon a time, all colors, all races, from all walks of life came together and made a difference. We're creating a new generation. And I'm part of it, so I guess I feel very blessed.